Welcome one and all to a third part of this Yorba Universalis England Let's Play. We're gonna jump straight in here and uh, England Let's Play. Let's uh, let's go here with it. Um, there we go. So in the last part, uh, you seen me. Um, I think we attacked Scotland and we took over uh, about the majority of Ireland. Um, we have won the Hundred Year War and we have well uh, secured most of the British Isles. Um, but, but don't have a uh, very much manpower, no stability, losing quite a bit of money and we've quite a few loans to pay back. We're not in the the best shape at the minute, but. We're gonna fix everything up this turn. Um, I doubt we're gonna see too many wars as such. Um, we have no wars happening at the minute. Um, just gonna save the the papal points. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say happy new day, happy new year to you all. Um, hope it's a good one. Um. I've put up on my, my Twitter. My Twitter account is is linked down below. Uh, follow me on that. But I've I've said a few times on Twitter, Happy Christmas and uh, Happy New Year as well. Um, let me know what you've got up to. Um, uh, I didn't do much myself. I sat in the house for the most part. But um, let me know what you's what you've got up to. Um, so I am actually gonna go and attack um monster here we have a claim we don't have a claim here we can't get a claim there but 10,000 troops should be enough to uh, quell the what would you call them the Irish yes the Irish that's where I'm from well I'm actually from uh, Ulster so we'll just disband that group of mercenaries we'll have up there um, should put us back in positive. Yep. Um, we do have minus ten percent taxation. That's because we took uh, a country modifier until for another twelve years. So it's minus ten tax modifier. Um, we don't actually have any. We don't have any diplomats. So we're gonna pull this one back from Portugal. Um, you can probably hear my voice going a bit funny here at the minute. Uh, I'm I'm down with the cold, and I'm not feeling the best today. But I'll I'll carry on. So when you look at it, we are quite behind on tech compared to the Scots up north who have four four four. We are starting to lag behind a bit on tech quite a bit um even monsters ahead of us with tech um so we're gonna quickly merge all the fleets um that's my 14 transports there I'm, and I'm actually gonna split these in half and put 10 of protect trade in London and nine to protect trade in Bordeaux. We are collecting trade in both places so it, it just gives us more trade power. Um oh, what's that costing us? Does that cost us anything? Um, harbour phase. No, yes, it's costing us not point eight gold. Um, we're gonna cancel that and save ourselves. Yeah, it costs us a bit of money. Cancel that and save ourselves a bit of money. Um, seven days, and then we're gonna attack. So we are going to use the mercenaries because they're going to be disbanded now in in the in a short minute or two. So 
Just gotta jump on in here. They're allied with no one. So when you take that quickly, um I'm not gonna call in any allies. So we're gonna And I am gonna Ah but there quickly defeated the monster fleet. So we're gonna pull you back that way. Or it should be finished off reasonably quickly. That was quite loud. So we're gonna go to game options. So we're gonna split this in half and send five units to there. As soon as this is over, these troops will be disbanded because they're mercenaries and nothing to us. So France and Scotland did join the war. So I called in France and Scotland while Whenever France was called in, they called in all their uh, vassals. So it should be a reasonably quick war. Army du Nord. Du Nord in French is the North, I think. So it's just saying the, the Northern Army. Um, Army de Flanders. The Flanders Army, I would say. But uh, I quit French in the just before GCSE because, well, not very good at it. So I think it is actually um, oh, we're gonna pick the diplomatic reputation up just to try and get more points um truce disputed succession don't really care so back for uh, claims best the cardinal and too many diplomatic relations I'm gonna try and break that off with Brittany because I will attack them very very shortly just to strengthen my position in the north of France the north of France um, it would be a very good thing to do also I will need to attack Burgundy at some point because uh, Calais is in a very vulnerable position at the minute because I have no way to actually supply it or help it uh, if we do get attacked except by sea and I get a two, uh, two penalty for that minus two penalty landing for that so we're gonna want to try and secure a few provinces around it um, so we're gonna just go ahead and save ourselves a few, few uh, gold by reducing the army maintenance they are at war but I doubt that we'll be storming the gates anytime soon So, um, so we've just took monster. We're gonna we're gonna pull out and go to bathe. Just gonna throw them in there anyway. My vote's possible in Munster. So for the first time we can actually build armories. Um we are gonna start to 
build a few. I should have probably spent that on the thing though, on getting or uh, paying off my loans and debts. So I forgot to actually blockade these ones. Um, these troops are gonna be disbanded now. Um, we're just gonna ask them for full annexation. Forty admin power and sixty admin power, and um, we're gonna go with that diplomatic. So we have a very weak army at the minute, um, due to lack of manpower and, and lack of um, money. So they have actually offered me a royal marriage. Um, so we'll, we'll take that with Scotland. And that'll put our So we're gonna pause here a second and see if I'm getting caught up on in any So strengthen our position here. Send these over quickly. We're actually going to swing the army. Oh, he's not. Um, before we do that, I would need to put my army maintenance up just a touch. So, how much are the buildings that? So, due to inflation we're gonna wait a few months and so um please do go check out my channel there's a uh, there's quite a few, well not a quite a few, there's a few videos up there now and it would just be just be very nice to see people viewing and liking and subscribing to a couple of, uh, or to my channel and liking my videos and stuff Um, you're quite helpful and leaving comments to say what you want to see Um, another point is uh, how long do you want the videos to be? at the minute I'm just putting them into half hour parts um so if you's do you want them in half hour parts you just want them in 10 minute parts do you want them in 20 minute parts let me know what you want because i can't do it right if i'm not getting any help from you guys to see to say what you want i can't do it to, to please you um so let me know in the comment section of this video or send me a private message whatever you want to do just just let me know so we just won that war and we've took Leinster and Munster now and Ireland is united under the English flag again. Um, so we have actually got quite a quite a powerhouse going on at the minute because we've got all of Ireland. Scotland is gonna um be annexed by by the English. Um France will come under the English flag in about fifty years. And so will their vassals. All all that's left now is to attack Brittany and secure our borders with Burgundy. Um Burgundy aren't at war with anyone at the minute. So we're gonna repay this loan. Correctly, um, we have th 
three Cardinals here. Our future Cardinals that hopefully will get us um, to become the Courier Controller. Um, when that happens, I can break my alliance with or my Royal Marriage for free, but break the, break the alliance without losing the stability, and so we can attack them then. Um, So the world is just looking hunky dory at the minute. Um, so Muscovy and Novgorod have been at war, and Muscovy have took quite a bit of quite a bit of land here in the north. Um, For a minute, I thought that was actually the uh, War of the Roses going to happen here. Luckily, it's not. But we have six Pretender Regiments up in Meath there. Um, so our King. So we have six Pretender Rebels now in Meath. Um, I'm going to send these men up to up to Ulster. So Yeah, so we're gonna do that very quickly. Designate Calais as the stable port. In order to effectively tax things we need to regulate them. If we are to designate Calais as the rule, as the sole point of import for the wool staple, we would improve our tax revenues dramatically. So we're going to lose 40 admin power, um, 100, minus 150 uh, opinion with Burgundy, 10 Merkelism, we're going to gain that, and we're going to gain um, local tax modifier, modifier plus 50% and local trade power plus 5. Um, so we are going to do that, but first, um, I don't really know what mercantile mercantilism is. So if you, if any of you know, uh, so uh, let me know in the comment section. I'm just looking at my. Uh, mission here. It was actually conquer Lothian, but I have just vassalized them. How long will it be until we actually integrate them as such? Um, Sixty-eight, seven years. It'll be quicker just cancelling that mission. <laughs> so. We're gonna designate Calais as the stable port. We're not gonna do that. So, we are also gonna go and boost our stability. So, who is the king? So, we've got a Regency Council with Henry de Trasmara coming up to the throne he should be on the throne in six years so the chance of us actually attacking Brittany is going to be held off for six years so we're going to put the five into here and try and hold on to these cardinals we we'll have Still a few loans to pay off. This one here has to be paid off in the next month or so. So we need to get quite a few coins set aside to 
so how many power save we gonna, is going to lead this attack I think this is the best possible way to come in we did get a cross and penalty but you're going to get a cross and penalty whatever way you come in so we've actually just got a loyal cardinal um, that was the one we just put the money into so lucky enough for us we just we've gained we've we've took a step in the right direction for the cardinal um for the courier controller sorry um so this rebellion's put down quite easily if i must say so we're gonna follow them into leinster Ah, oh, that was a quick battle there to finish it off. And we're going to move these men quickly back to London. So, Austria is trying to pull a fast one and try and take this Cardinal. They don't have any Cardinals in, I don't think. So, we better hold on to this one on. I didn't attach them. It was the first small minor mistake of this part. Um, so we quickly pick these men up and send them over to London. Um, we have a free diplomat who's not doing anything. I think we're going to send them. No. Send them to Scotland to improve our relations there pick these men up this time and that's it now um, I mustn't be able to do that by the with two fleets So we're gonna go here and reduce the army maintenance just to gain a few more coins, gold. So we're gonna repay a loan. Prestige. I'll take the seven units. So we're gonna have to put the army maintenance back up. We are gonna have to recruit a few more men. We have nine thousand. Well, we have um, a force limit for fifty six thousand. Um, I suppose we will just go quickly and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go. There's Got, we just missed her uh, advisor. We just lost him. He, he died on the first of May. May day. So, fourteen sixty two. We'll miss him. What was he? Uh, philosopher. Don't know what they do. So we're gonna pick all the armies up here. Send them all to London. So when I have eighteen thousand men with Henry Percy in the lead again, um, and off we 
Ok. So it was a very quick battle. Slaughtered them. Um, so, Normandy. Who's been fabricating the claim on Normandy? Is rising up. Um, quickly gotta check where do we have the remote risk? Just these two where they're they're being cored over. Enforcements have complete uh, dominance in numbers, and there's no real way to get away from. Not having a cross and penalty, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take the cross and penalty. Um, so, it's a quick battle. We're gonna split the men in half. I'd send nine to there. Trying to pull the wall over my eyes with that one as well. Um, so we're, we're actually going to go and repay a loan. Down to 11 loans. From 64, 1960, or 1464 to 1468. New technology. Better infantry. What do we get? Infantry shock up. The combat width up. Supply limit up. And better unit. So we're going to take that. Go there. And we're going we're gonna to be very English and take the longbow. Well, is it, is it Welsh? Is it? Is it uh, the long Welsh or English? You just can let me know. So it's not too long until these cores are finished. You can probably hear the music in the background there. It's the uh, Songs of Yuletide DLC, I think. The Paradox gave it away for free to all Europe Universalis um Kushida Kings too as well. And uh must say it's a uh, it's very good. So as soon as he's finished coring we'll uh call that a call that a video and um I'll I'll actually go and record on a Sagamon here so that it's up at least tonight or tomorrow so we actually just lost our cardinal here so we'll take it back brave and quick um, so when are these 11th of March and 22nd of April. Let's speed up to there. And so, do we want a marketplace, dock, or armory? I think the armory would be better because just to finish off our manpower. So, we're gonna try and increase our manpower. 52. more gold than I would like to be paying 70 admin power um, I do want that idea 
from the start I actually am looking to take this defensive idea just for the second run uh, the military drill 25% bone morale of armies it's it's quite overpowered I must say but I'm not going to turn it down if they think that it's if they think it's suitable they'll, they'll, they'll take it so we're actually going to lose um, disagreeing advisor uh, he's been a faithful servant so far but now he seems to have grown too insolent he dares to denounce our great king's policies and he recently did so in public in front of foreign ambassadors even if he is right we shouldn't let let that become a habit of his he's got a point to lose five prestige but I could do with the, the extra points so I'm gonna take a wee prestige hit so we're gonna, we're gonna pick uh, the inflation reduction that should help us to actually reduce the inflation by 0.15% every year it'll be away in no time So these should be finished up now and just as I spoke. Um this one here should be finished up now in a second. So I'm gonna just send the fleet round to So we're gonna finish it up by taking this here idea um, of the defensive ideas so there's a timer going so thanks for watching um, comment rate and subscribe in this video check out my other videos um, uh, uh, so look at my channel find my channel it, I'll uh, maybe put a link or the links are in the description um, of Twitter and I have a Steam group so if you want uh, to keep in contact find me there so that's everything um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye